Hey everybody, this is uh, John Miller with the Hometown Historian Channel. I'm doing well, move is done. Thank goodness, because that was quite the process. I actually sort of screwed up with uh, the agreement. They had, uh, you get like a 10 day notice again, and I had read it that I thought it was the 31st. I was supposed to be out by 11.59, and it was actually the 29th. So thankfully the church was gracious and they allowed me to finish everything up on Sunday on the 30th and got out of here I was uh, I got out of there in Steelstown and uh, I then uh, stayed at the Howard Johnson in this little town called Palmdale between Hershey and Palmyra for two days and then uh, yesterday I was thinking I had enough you know because I'm waiting on like my unemployment should finally hopefully start coming in uh, this Friday and I have a bunch of stuff from eBay and things of that nature, but uh, sort, of <laughs> sort of the whole moving thing has been a costly process. But uh, I wound up talking to a friend uh, who I had worked for uh, doing industrial floor work, and he and his wife and his parents graciously are allowing me to stay in their basement. Um, and it's actually it's like a finished basement almost like an open concept type uh, uh, setup and it's like its own sort of apartment if you will uh, so I'm really really fortunate they're allowing me to stay here till I can sort of get back on my feet again I'm hoping it's not going to be more than three or four months because I'll be able to save all my money up try to find that job that really works I'm feeling a little crappy right now I got my second Moderna shot yesterday I had gotten permission that they said it is okay for me to do that, because as long as you don't have symptoms anymore, beyond the coughing from the lisinopril that I have yet, but it just sort of like the first shot sort of hits you like a ton of bricks and you just feel like you have the flu for a couple days. Arm hurts where they shoot you with the needle and just in general, you just sort of feel like crap. This one hit me a little quicker because the first shot, it took about a day until I started feeling it in the arm and feeling the uh, flu-like symptoms. And I think that lasted for about three days. And this one hit me almost right away. So hopefully it's a little quicker and it's done and over with. And then I start feeling better. My back starts clearing up a little bit more. Um, and once I get that unemployment money in, I'm going to have to okay, try to get to the chiropractor to sort of get this corrected. Because it feels eerily similar to when my back went out in 2011. And that's when they first diagnosed me with scoliosis which is <coughs> an S curve in the spine. And I also have mine goes like counterclockwise. So it, it pulls the left uh, sciatic nerve up into like the hip joint, which is what caused all my nerve damage uh, back in 2011, which I have a lot more feeling than I did back then. So they did really good work on me to get me to the point where I am now, but it's just, wear and tear hair on my body with everything that's going on with my foot not sitting level it's sort of everything on the left side sort of pulls out so you know, obviously when your base isn't correct everything else like you know if that's not flat straight and, and solid and then your ankles off your knees off your hips off your backs off your necks off and it's just sort of a downward thing from there so it's just a matter of trying to get that corrected. I got some corrective shoes as well that I'll be getting that are specifically for uh, this left foot to help protect me also for the right foot. But the left foot's the one that has the missing bone structure and all that. So, you know, I got, I got a ways to go, uh, but I'm confident. I'm not down at all. I'm actually, like, stress-free now thanks to Josh and Sharon and uh, his parents, Boyd and Judy, who are just... just literally the sweetest people they really really are they've really been good to me and uh so i'm really really thankful about that i am going to take you around the apartment i'm also going to show you something at least for the time that i'm here i'm hoping it's not more than like five or six months at the most um so it is, it is a short-term solution but like i said it allows me to be able to save all my money and have myself set up in a place then that I can afford to then get a permanent residence and actually approach that at that stage and then get something that's a little more suitable size-wise. Because when I got the place at Steelstown, it was mainly, we were trying to go from Myerstown, which was about 30 minutes away from my sister, to being in uh, Steelstown, which 
was about five to ten minutes away from my sister because at that time I was doing this industrial floor work so I could be all over the place and uh, we just needed because of my mom's condition with the, the falling issues that she had over at Myerstown and the dementia we needed to be closer so she could easily be here at any time that she was needed um, so I'll be able to get a place that's size wise is more affordable but also easier to maintain and isn't as overwhelming because that was sort of just with all the physical issues and it's like that. I'm just I'm lounging now I know it like a tiger I used to joke about uh had landscaping I was laying on this one rock <laughs> resting my back because my back like because of scoliosis every now and then I gotta lay down on a flat surface hard surface and I pop because uh, a couple well, I was probably like eight years ago I was doing a landscape job on a really steep hill and I slipped because the ground wasn't that solid and I wound up messing up one of my discs and vertebrae so the one vertebrae sort of pushes out of place so every now and then I got right in the middle of the back so I lay down it pops back in place and then I'm good to go so but my problem now is like it's hard for me to get back up so <laughs> it was funny Jib was saying to me the other day when we moved he was like he was like don't you lay down you're not going to be able to get back up and I got back up it just took a while just like everything else but anyways when we were doing landscaping we used to you know they were making fun of me uh Jim and his brother John who's John's no longer with us. He had passed away. Um, they were joking about that. I looked like I was a tiger lounging on this big flat stone. And uh, I said, well, what kind of cats are you guys? So I said, you gotta be, it's got to be a big cat. So I'm a tiger. The one guy said he was a mountain lion. I think Jim said he was a puma. Or he, Jim might said he was the mountain lion, and the other guy said he was a puma. And we asked John, but what kind of big cat are you? And he's like, it's like, I'm not a cat, I'm just John. And I said, John, you're the snow leopard. <laughs> we had a lot, a lot of fun with that. And I always enjoyed the landscaping. So next things that are coming up is sort of trying to find a job. Hope, hopeful still with the London area village now that I have the second shot. I'm, according to their standards, I'm, I'm fully vaccinated. You know, in six months time or whatever that is, I'll have to get the booster and all that. But that's a while off yet. But uh, so I got to talk to the guy that's the head of ground maintenance and stuff like that and then send him a picture of that and we'll see where it goes from there. And even if I don't get a job with them now, they're expanding. So I'm hoping in later spring, it just, it's something that physically is something that's easier for me to handle. The money is good. The insurance is good. So it would be a great fit. Um, until then, I'll probably go with the whole red nurse thing, check out a few other places and see what I can do. Um, I'm going to be taking probably the rest of this week stuff on eBay like my comics and some of those things because it's a way I can build up money until the unemployment comes in because that's basically, I think unemployment is basically here in Pennsylvania at least, it's like two and a half months behind. I don't know why because it's basically a you know digital transfer, but I got approved and everything. It's just a matter of waiting for this thing to show up. Um, so hopefully once that shows up and financial, I'll have no issues that stage but uh it's just a matter of getting there and then selling some more of this stuff because i just want to downsize everything i have so when i do get to the point later this year that i move to a place that fits um i don't have to move a whole lot i would probably keep a lot of stuff in storage and that type of stuff just to make it easier because i sort of want to go minimalist uh, even something i thought about is as the channel grows I may do something along the lines. Once I'm able to support myself in that and my writing, uh, potentially look at doing something along the lines of maybe even traveling around in the van to different places and, you know, I'd have enough money that I could stay in hotels or whatever I need to do, or campsites, when the weather's better. Because uh, right now it's, it's a little too cold to be living in your van, but uh, at least up here in Pennsylvania. But um, anyways, so I'm hoping I have the first, the heroine's hometown of history, which is Mary Lindley Murray, which is, she is the mother of Lindley Murray. Uh, I have most of that done, and I'm hoping to have that video out maybe later today. Uh, and then I'll start getting videos. It's, a lot of it's going to be contingent, though, to how long it takes me to start to feel better from this Moderna shot. 
I don't like it's just a normal reaction, but it just sort of is what it is. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take you around the place here. Um, still sort of messy and stuff like that because I just haven't gotten, you know, I just came in here yesterday and this is my first night last night. So, so I'm going to show you around because that's one of the cool things I'm going to do is the heat down here is actually if you have a fireplace. So that was sort of cool because it reminded me a lot of Cliff's Farm where he had the different fireplaces and he had the one stove, Pioneer Princess stove. I used to make fun of him about really cool stove. But he used to, they love the smell of wood smoke. It just reminds me of home. I uh, always enjoyed going up into central New York in the uh, uh, Finger Lakes area around Bath and up in northern Pennsylvania. It just sort of has a dated feel and you go around and you smell the wood smoke as you're driving through, especially on Route 15 going up through near Wellsboro where the Pennsylvania Grand Canyon is. I used to love going up through there. It reminds me a lot of the trips to my grandfather's place. So it was cool tending to fire. I don't sleep great, like solid, because of the fibromyalgia. So, and I still can't, like, I'll be happy when this lisinopril thing is done where I don't have the coughing and breathing issues so I can actually breathe, because sort of got pretty sick this morning, which is a lot to do with the Moderna shots, just how I react to it. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna quick pause here and we're gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you around the place. Thanks everybody. All right, so this is where I sit to watch TV. They have like a huge TV here, which is really, really cool. I just watched the uh, Book of Boba Fett episode six, and then I've been watching uh, the Cruising the Cut. I've talked about him before. He's a guy in narrow boat. A uh, guy in England that goes around the uh, canals. They have like this IKEA thing underneath there, and I was able to put my mattress. And pretty cool. So I might bring some of my video game stuff and put my Blu-ray player out so I can watch some of my Blu-rays, DVDs. I'm going through the Smallville series right now, but uh, Josh had made this up. Like he made this huge table for. They have a big family. And uh, they had a big, I like to play a lot of board games too. So I have a bunch of older stuff. It was cool last night. Like they, like I said, they couldn't be more gracious. They had uh, me for lunch. And right now I don't have much of an appetite. It felt sort of bad. I didn't eat a whole lot of the spaghetti, but uh, appetite was better in the evening. And uh, this morning it wasn't that great again because it just, this coughing causes you to throw up. It's like, it's just not pleasant, but. Anyways, it's cool because they have a little like kitchen area here. Uh, at some point, Josh is gonna put a sink in there. They have the fridge, which is nice because I have to have that for my insulin. And this is just sort of all my junk right now. Um, and then there's a cool bathroom. They're gonna pull there's a shower behind there and we'll get that set up at some point. This is probably, I think the coolest feature though, is a uh, fireplace. So I was thinking I could potentially have that in the background as we talk about different stories and stuff like that. This is a fun, fun, cool thing. I got to do that last night, had a lot of fun with it. But uh, that's the place here. It's a cool farm to have horse farm on the property. And uh, I have a bunch of my stuff stored as well in an old antiques building that his uh, grandfather had and that his father and mom uh, had run. It was a really cool antiques place. It was funny because, like, Jim had said, like, his mom and dad, I guess, had a stand in there. And uh, he remembered it back when, I guess, it was a dairy as well. So there's a lot of cool memories. But this is a really, really nice place. It's really, really comfortable. And I think the coolest thing is you feel like you actually have a home. And then when you're surrounded by, like, such genuinely phenomenal people, like, I can't say enough about their family. They're just truly some of the best human beings I've ever met. It just really is. And it does sort of reaffirm, like at times it was, it was, I was getting down a little bit cause you know, you have your stress with all this, but then you get down as well. Cause you know, I said before, you sort of feel like a failure. It's like, you know, you're not, it's just sort of life has happened, but it's still one of those things, you know, like when the surgery happened because we're just one, one year past yesterday when I had the surgery on my foot. And uh, it was a monumental event in my life that really changed my life. And uh, so it's, it's, it's been cool in a lot of ways. It's taught me a lot. And it's made me really respect and be thankful for the blessings I have in my life. And uh, hopefully we'll get this channel going pretty quick. 
I think one of the first videos I'm going to really try to get going is the Milton Hershey video. A lot of other stuff that I want to do as well. A uh, number of, uh, in this area, there's a number of the Pennsylvania historic markers. I want to get that heroin of history one. That'll be the first video I bring out. And I also have some cool uh, books on like Amish folklore. So I'm going to do some videos, uh, do series on that, on folklore, especially like Pennsylvania, Dutch, and German folklore. There's some pretty cool stories. So we're going to be doing all that. Channel's going to be growing again, and it's going to get going. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I got to, as you've all said, you've been so gracious. I am going to pace myself because I want to get past this Moderna thing first so I feel better and then go from there and not rush myself into anything stupid because I don't want to take steps back. You know, my plan this year is I really want to get my health in order. I want to continue to grow the channel, but I want to do it at a pace that I can do it, I can handle. And I really do want to get back to the channel where I can have content out every single day, Instagram pictures, all that kind of stuff on different media uh, avenues, whether it's Instagram or Facebook or whatever it is. I want to have a lot out there and it really is in a lot of ways it's not disparaging to my channel but my channel is probably the best example of doing more with less uh, i am going to also i've promised this for a while now that i'm in a stable condition i'm going to get that camera the new camera going and then that will especially like it'll help with vlogs because that will create where it's not as close to my face and it just it's a little more personable, especially doing like fireside chats or whatever I call it. Um, it'll just create a, a better better atmosphere. And with the Milton Hershey video, I'm gonna try a couple different things and do it more documentary style. And eventually as my health really gets better, then I wanna to start doing some of these about town videos with Anvil, Pottsville, um, Tamak was a town I really like, uh, Jim Thorpe or Mock Chunk. Uh, Myerstown, Millersburg, some of those different towns I think you guys will really, really enjoy. And then uh, we'll go further out. There's uh, Colleen has sent me, again, the uh, viewer submitted uh, video ideas. So I'm going to hit off a couple of those. I think she's going to another location soon that she's going to send me some more as well. So I want to start getting those out as well. They're pretty simple and easy things because Colleen really, at the end of the day, does most of the work. She gets the picture, she does a bunch of research and sends that to me. And so thanks to Colleen. I want to say once again, thank, thanks to Kate. Thanks to Concerned Grandma. Uh, thank you to Robbie. Uh, they keep in contact with me, make sure I'm doing okay. And I really do appreciate it. I say thank you once again to all of you who have been so kind and so generous and so great. And really, you guys have helped me get through what's been a really, really difficult time, the most difficult time in my life. You guys shown me love and compassion and kindness, and that's seems like it gets rarer and rarer in this world, just the way things are. So I really am fortunate, and I have literally the best viewers and subscribers that I could ever, ever want. So thank you once again, and we will see you in the upcoming videos. I just wanted to give you a quick update on the new CASA for right now. This is a short term, however long that short term is, hopefully not more than six months. That should easily give me enough time, especially as I get a job that works for me, that I can save up a ton of money and go from there and just be in a much better place uh, financially and be ahead of the game for once. And we'll go from there. So thanks once again, everybody, and we will see you all about town.